Yo, what's up everyone and welcome back to another Dab of Three Reapers of Souls video. So in today's vi video, I'm going to be showing you guys the Season 20 Wizard Hydra build. And this is both for uh, T16 and Speed GRs. And the only thing that you would want to switch out between the Speeds and GRs is switch out your Aether work Walker for the Death Witch. That is the only difference in this build. Aether Walker for Death Witch, and it's that simple. And technically for uh, GR speech, you can switch out Band of the Stricken for possibly Band of the Power for uh, more damage. Or you could possibly use Zai Stone of Vengeance, but I don't know if that actually procs with the Hydras. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, jump straight to the build. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, as well as subscribe. We recently just hit 5,000 subscribers, so I want to thank you guys so much. So in the build, let's go over the six-piece set. So we're actually using six-piece. We're actually using five-piece with Ring of Warrior Grandeur in the cube. So for your helmet, you want to go Int, Vid, Crit, Hit, Chance, Shoulders, Int, armor I have regen but you want to go and armor bite hydro damage and with the chest and bit hydro damage now gloves you want to go and attack speed both crits and the belt is the herg brushes binding which reduces the arcane power of arcane torn disintegrating and rare frost by 63% I think it's a max of 80 no, it's a max of 65%, but we got 63, so for for just an Ancient, that's really not that great of a roll, because I would want to go in bit Life and Armor. And then for both Rings, Convention of Elements, and Halo of Karini, I got Intelligence, Attack Speed, and Crit Chance, but you would want to go Damage Percent and both Crits. Same thing with the Convention of Elements. And then you got Squirt's Necklace. We got attack speed, both crits, really good for this build. And then you have the Etched Sigil. You can actually switch this out for Orb of Infinite Depth, which will increase your damage by 10%, as well as gives you 80% uh, damage reduction. But I actually love using the Etched Sigil for speeds, so that's what I went ahead and went with. And then pants of goods are int bit armor and int bit armor and then we got arcane torrent damage which isn't that important and then for your uh if you have a good serpent sparker i would suggest using it since you are going to switch out death wish for your speeds but you definitely want to have that extra hydra active at a time and they deal 300 percent increased damage which is the max so I got really lucky with this one so we got damage percent intelligence and of course life per hit although I did get a low primary stat 1345 is a really low damage stat and then in the cube we have ring of Warrior grandeur magistrate very important and then of course and the worker the teleport no longer has a cooldown but costs 25 arcane power so the skills galvanizing wand which uh increase absorbs the next 60 percent of your life and damage and our shield is about 733k that's pretty crazy because our uh, blood braces are only 90 percent potency so yeah we got power hungry you just drop your hydras and just walk you just walk and everything dies and cold blooded because we are using the frost rune and then of course unstable anomaly but this is kind of the same as a beer sub you got storm armor you got your magic weapon black hole only difference is we're not using archon and we're using a uh, hydra in there and then we're using safe i mean uh calamity which is really nice and then arcane torrent flame wand you take 15 percent less damage from attacks while channeling every second you channel increases the amount by 5% up to a maximum of 25% damage reduction. 
So let's go ahead and jump into a uh, T16 and just absolutely slay. So we're just going to jump into a GR75. There it is, T16. Let's do it. And my gems are Enforcer, 92. Trapped is 109. And then Stricken is only 83. Pretty basic, except Trapped is a little higher than you would normally want. So let's go ahead and do it. So as soon as you enter the rift, you want to use your magic weapon, storm armor, drop two hydras for the uh, damage. And you can just drop your hydras and just walk away. That's all it is. Unless you come across an elite pack and just drop two. And you can see everything that gets melted. Oh, we even got another one. And we really don't have to do anything. Our shields are going to remain up all the time. This will be a great build for hardcore. Just saying. And you can just teleport and drop your Hydra. And it will slay everything as you are seeing on the screen. And then you get feared. That's nice. But regardless, you're slaying. And this this is just like a really good speed build for that. Wow, it won't let me pick it up. But once I drop my Hydras, they're not in my way anymore. It was just a shield anyway. I didn't really need it. And you pretty much just teleport, drop your Hydras, and get 30 yards away. Although for T16s, it's really not necessary. But yeah, it's, it's pretty easy. down here we haven't really seen that many elites let alone a good map so that's all a nice Ooh, we got double elites so you know what that means double hydras and they die and this guy is already dead so we just move right on did I see power up I did not And you can see they just slay. Anytime you see an elite like that, just drop it in. He will absolutely slay him. As well as Rift, the Rift Guardian. Like, he will demolish him. And uh, there we have it. Just absolutely slaying elites. And that's what you would pretty much do in high GRs. You just want to find the elites and slay them with the Hydras. Because that's what you do. And we won't even go anywhere. This guy is dead. We're not even gonna touch him. And you can see Hydras we're doing up to a hundred billion. And we get a primal. Let's go. It's an axe. So it actually looks like hack. And but other than that, if that's really nice to get while you're doing doing a live and actually get a primal, the odds of that. Can we upgrade anything? Not really, no. I really want anything up? Not really. Let's see what we got. Molten. Let's go. You always need a second uh, boon of the holder up. You always need one. I'm super surprised I got a primal while I was going live. So that's pretty awesome. But there you have it. That is the build. Let's go ahead and look at our primal. We know it's. We know what it is. It's nothing we can use, but it's nice to see. A primal drop, attack speed, bit, int, 100% of your uh, thorn damage applied on every attack. Not bad, not bad. Starfire, storm shield. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. The build, I mean, it was only two minutes and 30 seconds. There's a way you could definitely increase your time. Like if you switched out the blood bracers, but if you're playing hardcore, you won't want to do that for the NEMS. But other than that, this is a super chill build. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know in the comments section below what build you will be maining in Season 20. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great and wonderful day.